Here is Burton, and it's knocked away by McBride. Kayla McBride, the defensive play blocked by Carrington. Hard, and Kayla McBride went hard into the stanchion. All right, really quickly before the Indiana Fever take on New York Liberty at Indianapolis tonight, I had to make this quick video because I'm sure uh, many of you out there we already heard the news of the WNBA All-Star Game. You know, I'm happy for Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. But it was some snubs. I'm like, Kennedy Carter and DJ Nate Carrington, they deserve to be at the WNBA All-Star Games. They deserve to, to represent themselves and their respective teams because I'm like, they're that talented. Both of the best defensive players when it comes to the W League. I'm sorry. Like, when I think of defensive player, I think of Miss Kennedy Carter, a.k.a. Hollywood, and Miss DJ Nate Carrington, a.k.a. Uh, the Honey Mustard, Okay. Uh, I just, in the beginning of this uh, video, I just inserted that clip of Dijanae Carrington, that beautiful block she made uh, on Thursday's game, last Thursday's game, when it was the Minnesota Lynx versus Connecticut Sun. They was like, you know what, people all over social media was like, Dijanae Carrington blocks the ball as if she hated you her entire life. Like, she's like, you know what, like, Kendrick Lamar, I hate the way you talk, I hate the way you walk, I hate the way that you dress. She hates everything about you. Like, she puts so much force and energy into it. And if you didn't know, the reason why she's so tough, she actually used to play tackle football as a little girl. I believe she played with the boys. And her father, uh, Darren Carrington, he's a former NFL player. And again, her mother was a bodybuilder. Okay, so DJ Nate Carrington just has that strength, that fortitude. And again, I did a video on her uh, along with Kennedy Carter separately. They just had that genetics, especially DJ Nate Carrington. She literally comes from a bloodline that just lives, breathes sports and athleticism and strength and power. And it's like she would have been such a good contender in the WNBA All Star game. Again, that block that DJ Nate Carrington put up was just nasty. They actually defeated Minnesota Lynx at their uh, hometown. It was the score was 78 to 73 points. And DJ Nate Carrington, again, she showed up and showed out for her team. These are the stats of their, uh, both of the respective games individually. So DJ Nate Carrington, her stats for 2024, per game, she's averaging 13.4 points, 4.8 rebounds, 1.7 assists, and 1.1 steals. Beautiful, beautiful game. Again, I would love to watch her play in the WNBA All-Star Game. Now, Kennedy Carter stats for 2024, she's averaging per game 16.3 points, uh, 2.8 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 1.3 steals. Again, just beautiful. Like watching them too. I just love watching Kennedy Carter, aka Miss Kim Folk, and then Dijanae Carrington, aka Miss Honey Mustard, play because they're just that entertaining and so good. It was a picture that went viral uh, the other night when uh, Chicago Sky I just did a video on that previously. Look at my uh, um, my assessment of that game. Chicago Sky defeated Seattle Storm in their own home. Okay, they drowned out the storm, and it's a picture of freaking Kennedy Carter hanging up off the off the rim. Okay, so that she they've seen her dunk before. She's five. She's listed as being five foot nine, and they seem like you know how is that even possible? So like Kennedy Carter just has that explosiveness. I honestly believe they should lower the rim just a little bit. I want to see some dunks. Like what is that so? Con I know it's controversial, but I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, the men's league they do what they want. Okay, they can keep the the the, the rim at the height they want it. But like for the ladies, I say lower it just a couple of inches. Let's just see where it leads to. I want to see some dunks. It's time. Ladies, it's time to shine. It's time. You can tell that the women's basketball game, not only is it, is it expanding and it's becoming more relevant, but it's actually evolving. Like, this playing style, the way the women are becoming more, having more finesse with the way they play. And it's like, imagine we just put the cherry on top, the kiss of actually seeing these ladies dunk. It would be so exciting. I want to see it. I would love to see it. Again, like, it's a lot of uh, politics, unfortunately, in the WNBA. This is like all American sports, right? So, you know, the fans... Voted. I believe they said like fans because I voted for DJ Carrington and Kennedy Carter. I voted for Caitlin Clark. I voted for Angel Reese. I voted for Nelissa Smith. I voted for a lot of ladies. But I believe they said that 25% of the uh, the fan votes on WNBA.com, only 25% of it will be accounted for. But it's also, you know, the, the board members of the WNBA, like the big wigs, the corporate members, they really have the final say. And it's like, you know what? They decided they went with what they went with. But um, again, like... I would love to, I would have loved to see Kennedy Carter and DJ Nate Carrington tear it up in the WNBA All-Star game. So what are you guys' thoughts below? Tell me, like, who do you think deserves to actually be in the WNBA All-Star uh, League game this year? And who deserves to be taken off the roster? Okay, be honest, but be respectful. In my humble opinion, Kennedy Carter and DJ Nate Carrington are the real MVPs this year, along with some other ladies. What are y'all thoughts below?